Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So I'd like to talk about the mastered weapons and whether their set bonus is the best within the game right now. With all of these new combat changes we've had a rework to our weapons. They no longer grant us our base weapon damage and thus our weapons are only really good for giving us more item level and along with that a set bonus. So we now need to look at weapons which would actually give the best set bonus and we can very viably look back to previous weapon sets that are much older and see whether those are actually now the best. So I'd like to talk about the Stronghold weapons and the newest ones that just came out around September I believe are these mastered versions having much higher item level. And you can see I have the set for the Paladin here. Now what's special about these is their set bonus. When you have two of the set like I have here you and nearby allies will be granted the following 2% outgoing damage, 2% outgoing healing and minus 2% incoming damage. And this effect may stack up to 5 times when you have allies nearby you who also have equipped these stronghold weapons. And it's not just these weapons, you don't have to have the mastered version to have this weapon set. I believe it should stack up all of the other versions of these sets, the older ones. So you should be able to obtain these sets fairly cheaply if you just wanted to get a good weapon set at a lower item level. Now keep in mind the lower item level you have you will lose more hit points and you will also lose base damage. However when you're in scaled content this doesn't really matter if you're getting scaled down as you will lose it anyway. So it's all about this set bonus. And if we look at these mastered weapons and we compare them with, let's say, the Lionheart weapon set bonus. Here, the Lionheart weapons will give you a maximum of 7.5% increase to your damage and your healing when your stamina is full. When your stamina decreases, this bonus will also decrease. But also on top of that, when your stamina decreases, your damage resistance will increase to a maximum of 7.5% when you have no stamina remaining. And thus it makes the Lionheart weapon set a very versatile set, especially for solo content when you're just doing quests, killing groups of mobs and moving to the next. And this, in my opinion, makes this weapon set the best out there as you don't have to rely on having other party members who have a certain specific weapon set like the mastered ones are. So the Lionheart weapons, they are a bit of a grind. You'll have to go and complete Tower of the Mad Mage, which can be a very tough challenge, especially for newer players. Then we have the highest item level set in the game, the Celestial set. And this one actually got adjusted. And now you can have this bonus up 7.5% outgoing damage and healing all the time while in combat after you've cast five encounters. And as long as you continue to do so, casting those encounters within those 30 seconds. But the drawback to this is you won't have the bonus for your first five encounters and thus it doesn't make it that great for questing etc. So what are these mastered weapons good for and why are they one of the best? Well they're really good for when you're running huge content and you're with party members, when you're running content with other players. And when these other players also have this set bonus you will gain these stacks. And if you have four party members who have these or four allies who have these weapons with this set bonus, then you will gain up to 8% there. Outgoing damage, outgoing healing and a reduction to incoming damage. And that is huge. That is better than any of the other sets that I have aforementioned, Lionheart and the Celestial. And you can get this up to then 10%. Now, albeit there are other sets which will compete with this. For example, you could now look at the Tyrant weapons as a very feasible weapon set to run in a long boss fight, like when you're in a trial, like Zariel or Tower of the Mad Mage, where you can gain up to 10% more damage healing and damage resistance getting up to a max of 10% after 50 seconds. And this is then a very similar buff, giving the exact same amount. But of course, you will have that period of time, that about 50 seconds, where you won't have this bonus. Whereas with the master version, you would have the set bonus up all the time. Now these mastered weapons are not the only ones with this set bonus. If we again look in our collections tab and we scroll all the way to down to the stronghold, you can see we have 
this stronghold set 3 and it has the exact same set bonus there giving damage healing and damage resistance and you have multiple variants of them the master of art 2 set again has the exact same set bonus and these set bonuses will stack on top of each other let's say i have this masterwork or the stronghold 2 version i'll be able to stack it up with let's say somebody who has the mastered version and this is the paladin 2 set with then lower item level and then you finally have the initial version just the stronghold set right there this means that a lot of newer players i guess can actually obtain these weapon set much cheaper than just purchasing the mastered ones now that is not the only things you can obtain from masterwork professions you can also obtain these neck and waist sets and for tanks this set is pretty much the best out there for getting maximum hit points the reason being is this waist set will give you four constitution you could just get this alone. This 4 constitution is a 2% increase to your maximum hit points through your ability score, as we see there. As for the actual set bonus, unfortunately, on these masterwork set, they're pretty abysmal, only giving you accuracy and some movement speed, which is alright. I guess it would give you a bit more aggro as a tank and a teeny bit more damage as a DPS, giving that accuracy. But it can only stack three times, so it's not that great whatsoever. You'd be better off running something that would actually give you straight up damage. Again, we can look in the stronghold section of our collections, and here you can see all of the different necks and waist sets that you can obtain. You can obtain the beaded one, the Lichstone one, that's the one I was mentioning, giving you up there a total of, it's only three con here, but the mastered one will give you four con, fanged set there, and the bronzewood set. Now, they all have the exact same set bonus as you can see there, just giving you move speed and accuracy. But then we have these mastered rings. These mastered rings have the highest item level there in the game having 1230 no other ring gets up to that maximum item level you can see these other ones only get to 1100 with having higher item level you'll increase your base damage and your maximum hit points now do i advise actually running these as a tank not really. They will give you critical avoidance and deflect, which isn't really your primary stats you should be focusing on. However, as a bonus there, they will also increase your deflect stat when you're against one enemy, which all things considered is nice, but I do actually recommend as a tank to much better off your running with these two rings. The Ring of the Condemned giving you more aggro and defense, and the Ring of the Overwhelmed being the best ring there, I can say, whenever you move around, you will decrease the damage you take by 10%, which is huge buff there as a set bonus. Ring of the Condemned, you can very well go and swap it out with something else if you don't need that defense rating. As for the other rings out there, they aren't really too great. You'll have ones that will increase your accuracy. You'll have ones that will increase your power when you're against a single target. Other than that, they just have their stats. And for DPS, you're better off running something that's going to directly increase your damage. For example, you would have these striking rings of the veteran giving you 3% extra more melee damage. Or you'd have rings like the herald ring giving you 3% more to your encounter damage. So overall, all things considered, Yes, the mastered weapon set or the stronghold weapon set bonus, giving that 2% to all of those three different things, the damage, healing, and reducing your damage, and stacking up to 10% is pretty much the best you can obtain there. There's no other set bonus which is going to get beyond 10%, and this one matches it so that it will grant all nearby allies. Imagine you're in a trial where you have 10 people, okay? And then you have five party members within that trial, let's say the two tanks, the two healers, and a DPS all have these weapons. That means everybody else, on top of having their own weapon set, they would gain 10% damage, 10% healing, and 10% damage resistance. Making your team a whole lot better and can make it a lot easier to get by the content. But again, these weapons are not going to be the best for running solo content as it relies on having party members who also have the weapon set to make it the best. Other than that, you might be better off just running other weapon sets, like the Lionheart one, just to give you that standard bonus all the time, without relying on other people. So that being said, hopefully I presented this well enough, I did consider leaving the video a like, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.